Hey guys, and welcome to the complete breakdown of the dumbbell one arm row. So a great, great exercise for unilateral pulling strength. It's a great exercise where you can actually lift a good amount of weight if you get the technique right. But it is important we get that technique right, not only for the case of lifting the most weight possible, but actually working your lats to their optimal ability. So we're going to need a bench and obviously you're going to need yourself a dumbbell. And the first thing we're going to do, guys, is talk about where we're going to place ourselves on the bench. So what you want to be doing is you're going to take this same side knee, same side hand up on the bench here. And we're going to take that trail leg out nice and wide. So you create this nice three point stance. So you've got a great base to work from. Again, as the weight gets heavier, this base becomes more important. We don't want to be all tight up in here because then that's going to create instability. You're going to make the lift way harder than it needs to be for no apparent reason. So we're going to take that wide grip stance. And then from there, we're gonna grab hold of the dumbbell. So we're gonna take that dumbbell from the floor. And what I want you to do, guys, is you're gonna realign the shoulders. So as you can see here, one shoulder is down, one shoulder is up. The first movement I'm gonna do is just realign my shoulders. From here, I wanna pull the back of the dumbbell, so the back of that dumbbell head, in towards the hip. Elbow stays nice and close. And then gonna allow the shoulder and lat to stretch out. Realign the shoulder, and then pull that in. And again, start blending that into one nice, smooth range motion. What we're looking to do here is, like I said, pull the elbow back as far as we can and the shoulder blades should come meet in the middle together. What we're trying to do is allow the shoulder blade to come back to the center line, back and forth. Again, keep that chest tall, that back nice and neutral, let that stretch happen and then create that arcing motion that we just spoke about there. Make sure you do the same amount of reps and sets on both sides. If you have a weaker arm, I would highly recommend starting on the weaker side and then allowing the second arm to catch up or the stronger arm to catch up. So if you're right-handed, start on the left hand. If you get eight on the left, make sure you only get eight on the right, even if you feel like you could do more. We wanna bring those two imbalances up so they're at least level on the playing field. If you found the video helpful, guys, make sure to like it, share it with your family and friends, and I will see you in the next one.